Hey guys, Dave here from Apple Junkies 101, and today I want to show you how to jailbreak your uh, newest firmware, which is 3.1.2, using the new Ponus tool that just came out this morning. Now, the current version for the Ponus tool is 3.1.4, um, and you can currently get it from their website, um, and I will post a link uh, on the sidebar for that. All right. So the first thing, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get, you're gonna go on their website. All right, and you are going to go to the dev team blog all right um, and I will post that link also all right and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the official mirror and which is right over here all right um, try these first I always try the official BitTorrent releases first before I try the unofficial mirrors all right so that's the first thing you want to do that's gonna get you your new ponish tool now the second thing you're going to do is you're going to go to felixbruns.de alright and what you're going to do is um, you are going to go to uh, down here where it says iPhone slash iPod touch and you are going to pick your firmware alright so with mine um, it's going to be the iPhone 3G alright in parentheses 3.1.2 uh, with backslash 3D11 alright that's the current firmware for the iPhone 3G alright so you're gonna do that and you're gonna go ahead and hit download alright and once you go and download that you should have the Ponish tool 3.14 DMG and you should ha have the uh, iPhone uh, restore .is IPSW alright so what you're gonna do is you are gonna go and you're gonna open the disk image alright and now you're gonna open up Ponish tool all right and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit OK and you're gonna choose make sure you're plugged up all right make sure you're plugged up all right now you basically want to uh, let's see here iPhone oh I'm sorry no iPhone 3G 3GS okay we're gonna do that it's gonna find the IPSW all right it automatically finds it if you guys download the wrong IPSW for your unit um, it it will definitely uh, it will it won't come up so that'll be a good thing it, you can't you can't restore it to a firmware that that uh, that's not right for your device all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, check that okay and basically what it's gonna say now is we will not create an IPSW that you can use to restore with iTunes all right this will be uh, this will be placed on your desktop do you want to continue to so hit yes. All right, and then it's going to ask you, do you have an iPhone 3G, 3GS contract with, with normally with iTunes? Now, uh, if you're on T-Mobile like I am, um, you you hit you check no, obviously because um, it, it won't it won't put the AT&T stuff on it. Um, if you have uh, AT&T, then you're going to check yes. Always remember that. All right, and now it's basically going to uh, build. A new IPSW for you. A uh, quick tip while this is running, um, I always say never ever restore from iTunes with a stock IPSW. That's one thing you definitely don't want to do. All right, so now that it has finished, um, basically it just says, uh, has your iPhone 3GS or 3G been pwned before? Uh, does it have the pineapple logo? Uh, if you're unsure, click no, and I, uh, I have it pwned uh, with the last Ponish tool, so I'm just going to hit yes. All right, now basically it says to close Ponish tool and put your uh, um, your your iPhone into DFU mode. All right, and basically all you have to do is open iTunes up. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it off. We'll turn it off. All right. We'll just wait for it to turn off. All right. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds, and then we're going to release the power button and keep holding the um, home button for 20 more seconds until it goes into DFU mode. Okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. You can let it go now. All right. And as you can see here, it says the, the iTunes has been detected uh, that it is in recovery mode. All right. So basically what you're going to do now is you're going to hold the Alt Option key and you are going to hold and then you're going to click the restore button. All right. We'll do that. And then basically what we're going to do is we are going to go to, I need to open this up to your new, where it says custom underscore restore. All right. And then we're going to hit choose. All right. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it. And once you do that, it should go through the motions and you should now have a new jailbroken. All right. So now that it's all pwned, um, basically for your 3G and your 3GS users, um, that are uh, unlockers um, you should be able to have the ultra snow already in Cydia in your repo all right which is right there okay if you don't know it um, it's gonna be the HTTP uh, colon slash slash repo 666 dot ultra snow dot com okay and that's what is zero ultra snow with a zero all right and basically what you want to do is you want to go into there all right and then you want to go here and then you want to install it and once you install it uh for your 3g 3gs users that are on 3g um make sure your 3g is turned off before you do this all right um so basically that's it um this is dave from apple junkies 101 if you guys have any questions please comment uh please subscribe if you like my videos and uh anytime you comment or or pm me i will always get back to you no matter what all right, so if you guys need help, just let me know. All right, guys, so peace.